Hey guys, it is Josh from the Elite Expert Channel, and today I'm bringing you guys a comparison video between the HG2000 and G9000 gaming headsets. Um, basically, I'm just going to tell you guys which one I think is the better buy and which one I would recommend to you. But anyway, let's just get started by taking a look at the looks and design of the headsets. So as far as design goes on the HG2000, uh, I think the real pro here is the mic light, um, as well as the side lights look great. Um, and then as far as the G9000 goes, uh, they have the exact same lights on the side, except for the mic light, but both headsets look great. As far as function goes on the G2000, I think one of the definite cons here is that the sliders aren't that high. So if you have a larger head, I, don't I wouldn't recommend this headset to you. Uh, I have to keep the sliders on the maximum just to fit on my head. Um, and it is very small, so if you have a small head, I guess this will fit. Um, but as far as the G9000, uh, I think one of the real pros here is that the sliders extend very far and small, so if you have a small or big head, uh, this headset will definitely work for that. So for the build quality, I think that the G2000 has a much more comfortable headband, um, but the G9000 is comfortable as well. I just think that the G2000 is a step up. Uh, the ear cups are about the same. The G2000 does have slightly bigger ear cups, which the G9000 is still comfortable even without that. Um, and the thing that I really like about the G9000 is that it's much more lightweight and compact, so you don't really feel like the headset's going to fall off or it's really weighing you down when you're gaming, which is much more comfortable for me. So for one of the things in common on these headsets is the cords, which both of them are 6 feet long and have a wrap-up Velcro strap. So if you don't need that 6 feet, you can wrap it up, make it smaller, uh, and if you do need 6 feet, th these headphones are nice for that. Um, but anyway, the build material is nylon, so nice and strong for a headphone cord. And if you are wondering about the placement of the mic remote and plugs, they're both in the same spots on both headphone cords. So for the mic remote, both are the same except for what they say in their design. Uh, everything else is the same, such as the mic on-off switch and the volume slider. And you can see on the back of the G2000, um, it says voice controller with their logo. And on the back of the G9000, it says caution each. But anyway, both are exactly the same, except for their design and logo. So as far as the plugs go, you can see that the G2000 has three plugs and the G9000 has two. And I have to state that the USB only powers the lights. It does not do anything else except for power the lights. But anyway, you can see on the G2000 that it has a mic and audio plug. Um, and the G9000 only has one plug, which does both mic and audio, which is better for me because my computer only takes one plug, which is a pro for the G9000. And also with the G9000, it comes with an included adapter, so if your computer takes the two audio and mic plugs, uh, that adapter is included in the box, which is very nice on the G9000 side. So for gaming audio, I definitely think that the G2000 is really great for any game, especially Minecraft, which that's what we used it for, and it was great. Um, now for the G9000, I really recommend it for FPS or first person shooter games, just so you can hear everything, um, the footsteps, I, I rate footsteps 10 out of 10, it's just so crisp and like clear, you can hear everything. Um, and the only thing that doesn't sound good would be the gunshots, I just think that it gets like kind of mashed together from like the loud sounds, but anyway, footsteps are just 10 out of 10 for me. So as far as music audio goes, I think for the G2000, more of like fades and echoes, uh, it doesn't really sound that good for any music, um, and it doesn't really give the listener like a real crisp and like clear listening experience. Now on the other hand, G9000 is very crisp, uh, it's just very clear, uh, I would give the instruments a 9 out of 10, you can just hear everything, um, now the vocals 9 out of 10 as well, you can just really hear everyone who's talking or anything that you're listening to. Uh, and now the cons for both of these head headsets is that there is no bass. Uh, unless you really turn up the sound and put like push the headphones against your head, you're not going to really get any bass out of these headphones, so that can be a con for people as well. So for the G2000 microphone, which I'm actually using right now, uh, you can hear that it kind of sounds not like tinny, but you can like kind of hear a fuzz in the background for some reason. Uh, it picks up your voice well. Uh, I only recommend this microphone for like in-game or if you're not going to talk that much, but I definitely wouldn't rec recommend it for recording something like a review or anything like that. So for the G9000 microphone, uh, which I'm using right now, you can hear that it's much more clear, but it still has that fuzz in the background, but it just picks up your voice better using the three microphones that it has, uh, which kind of works like surround sound, but it just picks up your voice more clearly. 
and I think it's better than the G2000, which is definitely a pro for the G9000. So to conclude, I think the G9000 won me over, and if you guys were trying to decide which one you'd rather buy, I would definitely recommend the G9000, and I'll just give you guys some reasons of why I think that. Uh, first, it'd just be that it's smaller and lighter. It just fits better on your head, and it's more comfortable to wear for a long period of time. Um, it just sounds clear. I just can't get over like how crisp the footsteps sound in uh, different games, especially like CSGO. Um, the, the overall design I just like, especially with the lights. Um, one, one of the things that I really like is that there's only one plug, and it also comes with that adapter, so if you need that, that support is there. And it also costs less than the G2000. Uh, the G9000 is $22, and the G2000 is $24. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you guys liked the desk that I had set up, uh, I know that I did have some shadows behind myself there. But if you guys like that, um, let me know down in the comments below. But if you guys have suggestions on future videos, please let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.